Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to another video. As you can see here in front of me, I have my once upon a page journal. I am very excited to do a few more pages in this journal. We're just gonna do a couple together today and see what I can come up with. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. If you're unfamiliar with this series or this book, you can check out the intro video where I explained it all, and I'm gonna link that above as well as down in the description box. Okay, let's get on to our first page. So the first page I picked just said a dozen different apples. There wasn't too much of a prompt as such on this page, but there was 12 squares, so that would be the dozen apples. My mind first went to drawing the apples, the different apples, you know, like Granny Smith, Yellow Delicious, Red Delicious, and then I thought that was kind of boring, so I decided I was going to draw a quilt and turn the little squares into quilt patches. So I drew these sort of geometric apples, um, like you would find on a quilt, and then I outlined them with my Micron Fine Painter. <laughs> After I was done outlining them, I took out my colored pencils and my little swatch chart, which I love, and I just started coloring in all the different apples. product. I like how this page turned out. I really like the colors and the apples are different. They're geometric. It's not something I usually do. So I'm pretty happy with this page. The next page I picked said draw roads and bridges. So my mind first went to a city and I didn't want to just do any city. I was feeling kind of nostalgic after doing the draw your journal page with a poly pocket. So I decided to draw the little 90s classroom carpet thing that had a little road with that you would drive little cars down. And that's what was going through my mind. So I just started drawing in pencil first the little outline of the city. After I finished drawing, I took out my Micron fine liner and I outlined everything. I think you guys know how this, that goes at this point. After I outlined everything, I erased the pencil marking and then I got out my alcohol markers. So I just went in and I colored everything in based on how the little rug would have been co colored in. And I just went for it.
was time to really make this pop. So if you guys are familiar with the little carpet, you know that there's um, dashes in the road to indicate that it's a road as well as crosswalks. So I just took out my Posca paint pen and I added those dashes. And just like that, that page is complete. I really love how this page turned out. It made me feel really nostalgic doing it. The next page I picked was monochromatic art calling all shades, tints, and tones of one single color. So the first color I picked was actually gray and I thought I'd do a little two point perspective city. So I started out on another sheet of paper as I usually do and I started drawing this city. I drew the various buildings, different heights, and I wanted to do like different storefronts within the city to make it like more than just a city. After I got into this drawing a little ways, I realized I just wasn't really feeling it. I really didn't like how the city was looking, I just, it was, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to start over. And it's okay to start drawings over, there's nothing wrong with that. So I decided to do a floral pattern this time, and the color I picked, instead of gray, I was going to do red. And if you're unfamiliar with color theory and how colors work, um, when you pick a color, you can use tints and shades of that color in a monochromatic drawing. Monochromatic, of course, means one color. And if you're talking about a tint, you're talking about a color with white added and a shade would be a darker color with black added. So, for instance, pink is a tint of red because it's red with white added. And, you know, like a darker red would be red with black added. So I just drew these flowers for my drawing and then I outlined it with my Micron pen. everything was outlined I erased the pencil marking with my little eraser and then I brought out my alcohol markers again in all the shades of pink that I have so I went ahead and colored in the drawing in the various pink and red colors <laughs> colored everything in the various shades and tints of red I went in with this it was a pink color uh, in front of me but on camera it looks a little peachy it for the background so I just went in and colored in the background then to add some extra dimension to it I tried using colored pencils to shade 
and this is to just give some of those colors um, shading, make them look a little richer, make it look a little more realistic. So I just colored in some of the flowers with colored pencil to add some shading and then I went in with the colorless blender and blended it out a little bit. <music> the page in the book and that page is done. I am so so happy with how this page turned out. I think it's a really good representation of a monochromatic line. Alright guys, that was my second video on this journal once upon a page. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What was your favorite page? And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!